I'm reminded of your mother. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions with Corbett. I'm my mother. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Your breasts aren't saggy enough. You follow us on Instagram, That's Twitter true. for more juicy content. My mom had some rocking breasts, man. When she was in her 20s and 30s, my mom was a sexy woman. That's weird. Uh, was your mom a sexy woman? I don't know. I was really? You around. don't know that? You haven't seen pictures of your mom in like 20s and 30s? My mom was an absolute jaw-dropping, turn-your-head, sexy woman. Today, <laughs> we have... You have a sexy mom? I'm proud to have a sexy mom. Well, just stop talking about it. Uh, today, we got an uh, interview uh, about the, the cast of Vikram. Not Vikram! Just, sorry, not Vikram. Oh. Um, Vikram is in it. <laughs> PS1. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so but that's equally exciting for me. Yes. Uh, obviously, we loved it. It's with, uh, obviously, Film Companion. Uh, she, oh, great. She does a great job. Love her. She does a great job with her interviews. Um, and so, let's just get into this bad Oh, boy. this is going to be very, very rewarding. Here we go. All of you on Film Companion, first of all, first of all, this frame is just, there's too much talent, beauty, star power. It's like, I feel like we don't even have to talk. We can just sit and look. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad Ash isn't there. It's totally mutual. Believe me. Yeah, we're so happy to be on your show. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the trailer looks spectacular. I cannot wait to see this film. Uh, because I want to start with you. Um, now, you, of course, worked with Manisa before. You've done Ravan. And, and I haven't read the book. I haven't read Pony and Salman, but from what I've read around it, uh, I believe that Ravan and Aditya Kalikaran yeah. are sort of cut from the same cloth, yes. right? They're little frenzied, little disturbed. Same. And both of them are in love with Aishwarya, and both of them don't get her. <laughs> She's married to someone else. <laughs> same story, which is what I told her when he first said, do you, want to, you, you should do this. Huh. And uh, that's the first thing he said, actually. He said, you do this. If you, you want to do this, we do, we're supposed to do another film. Right. But then he said, uh, we're going to do this. But if you're willing to do this, we'll do this. I said, I'm not going to do it now. And I said, but so it's the same character. And like, as an actor, I'd like to try something different. But this will be too grand. You're having Ash again. He said, no, no, you can do it. But then I realized that, I mean, as an actor, you can really explore. There's so much to be explored inside you, which you've never done before. And I'm so... I mean, I, I, I felt very good that I could bring that out. I and mean, when I see the frame, when I see my character, I realize there's so much difference between the two. But the emotions are... I haven't seen Ravan, but we've seen clips. You look nothing like that character that I've seen. But tell me, do you ever ask Manisa why he sees you like this? That's very sad because I, I mean, <laughs> I've always told him I want to do a, you know, like a Bond film or right, something or really suave. No, not happy. As I just happy wanted, No, he's really good with style and romance. Right, so I right. tell him, he said, yeah, this is romance. I said, not this. I need to look, I want to look nice. I mean, while I still have time. I want to look stylish <laughs> and swag. And he said, no, no, take it out of your dictionary. Let's do this. Come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know, maybe he sees a tragic hero in me. Do I look like that? Very sad and like, kind of coffee? No, right? Not at all. Oh, maybe he's in his eyes, I look like that. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of actors who work with Manisa always say that it's like going to university, yeah. right? Yeah. And Kathy, I believe you were the best student of this university. You'll be very wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, he's, but, yeah. but you've also, of course, been Manisa's AD. Thank you. Now, has, did that help you to be like, a more uh, a better student than everybody else. But it made him feel more Being comfortable. Student, Talk about a great your, schooling. Uh, yeah, Mani's AD. But uh, but with Mani sir, I think uh, as an AD, what he expects you is to be you know ten times of him. He says, I've done fifteen films or fourteen films when I joined him. This you've not done one film yet, so I would expect you to be much eager, you know, much more passionate than what I am. So that's how we started. So he, we have to be on heels. To not be shouted at, <laughs> to being able to, you know, work on sets. That's how uh, attentive you have to be on sets. So that's where I learned my basics. But when with Mami sir, I think he always gave me a space to question him. 
or you know, clear my doubts. So that has really helped me because most people are scared to talk to him. But from the beginning, he's given me that space where I could go and say that, sir, I'm not liking this performance of this actor or I'm not liking the way this actor is dressed right from my first film. So I think he gave me that space to get close to him, talk to him. Uh, we'll get shouted at, but <laughs> you know, it, doesn't stop it doesn't stop us from questioning him or asking him. But tell me, to, to pitch your performances, was the book required reading or did he want you all to work off the Great question. Off screen? Great know, question. Is it, is it sort of Kalki plus Manisa's vision or did he want you to first see Kalki's vision? What, what did you all do? Not at all. I don't think we needed to have read the book to be in this film. But um, this is Mani Ratnam sir's Onion Selvan. That's yeah. how I look at it at least. Yeah. And um, I was in the process of reading the book. So there were a lot of things that I just think I went and met Mani sir like totally un unlearning everything. So it was his vision that at least I tried to bring out. And what about the rest of you? Did you? So for me, he said, no, don't read the book. He read told you script. not to read He it. said, you read the script and then you read the book. Right. So yeah. I first read the script, I gave whatever I felt about the film, I told him. And then I went back and started reading the book. Um, but that was also important. But Manisa would get irritated. I, said, I would come and ask him questions and he would say, did you read the book in the morning? <laughs> we are doing the film, not the book. <laughs> read the script. <laughs> but I think uh, for me, I really enjoyed reading that book after so many years getting to know so much about our history, you know, and the writing of uh, Kalki, you know, he, he wrote poetry inside a novel and uh, the, the explanations of each character, you know, the, there'll be thoughts of each character before a character meets another character. Those are so many insights which you can take, probably it won't come on my face, but I'm aware of it. Yeah. So I, I wanted to be prepared that way. And Ravi, for you? Uh, for me, uh, when I asked him whether should I read the novel first, because I've heard the novel, my mother saying, you know, reading it out to me uh, at a very young age. Your mom had read it out to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's a literature student, so right. Tamil literature student. Right. So oh my. At a very young age, I've listened. Spoil the Bible of literature, yeah. Tamil literature uh, students. But uh, when I asked Mani sir, he told me, try. <clears throat> that, in a very sarcastic way, <laughs> which I remember, because uh, five volumes, you, cannot, you yeah. cannot finish it. What it's character was he? Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. I don't so remember the said, name. Try. I did again. I the names are. <laughs> he was so the lead, though, right? And, uh, suddenly, yeah. the script reading happened. So when I went there, I saw a screenplay sitting on the desk, not just dialogues. So Ponyan Salon as a novel, uh, as a book, is different in a way when it is uh, taken to the screen. So the screenplay was much closer to my character. You know what's fascinating to me is that, of course, it's such a male world. Right, this this world of, of these cholas a thousand years ago, but the women are such key players. Yeah, you know, they are the they're players. Not, um, they're not uh, <laughs> just there as props. You Heck know, no, no, the they're the ones like the running everything. They're, they're like, they're and the men are doing what they're women. doing for they're them. Yes. Women. They're obviously restricted <laughs> by gender, but they are propelling the narrative. Yes, you know, they're actually doing things and and. Uh, they're controlling everything. Sort of That's what they're doing. The confrontations between your character and Nandini yeah. is, is the spine of this. this the men are the spider. hands, the but women are the brain. How did the two of you get into these women's heads? I mean, did you, was it hard to place yourself or is it that kind of novel and it's timeless because it speaks to every decade? It, it is timeless. To now. Yeah. Um, my, what I play is that we have a stark difference, uh, there's a stark difference between everything I've done so far. Um, I've not played uh, someone who's so innocent and, and Mani sir was uh, very clear headed about what his idea of innocence was. He didn't need it to be coy. Even absolute truthfulness is also innocence. Yeah. So that is the version of innocence we went for and I've not played a part that's a bit like a bumbling, babbling, you know, bird. So it's a bit like that. Like a, a bumbling, tone. babbling it's, bird. There's a certain joy, a lightness. Um, and that's new for me because I think I've been, uh, I've mostly been like playing parts that had a certain... Uh, An edge. Je ne sais quoi. Yeah. of emotion. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it was new. It, it was pleasurable. It was very enjoyable because I was able to be that version of myself. I was discovering. Well said. That just made my heart happy. Oh. And for sure, for you? Not mine. Actually, I would say Kundavai 
was a bit of a rebel <laughs> because like you said back in that era uh, you know a woman even voicing her thoughts was kind of unheard she did of. so well you know a princess coming in walking into a courtroom full of men and kind of saying what she wants to say right and we kick started my day one with that scene uh-huh. had, like a really like Jeez. many dialogues and like with so, wow that was I her mean, day uh, one uh, if, i was a bit not be kind <laughs> we're a little nervous because i had to give money so what he wanted but that part of feeling and being empowered is something i took from today and just fitted into that era because besides the way she looks her physicality and uh, she belongs to that era but she's actually a today's woman yeah. maybe she's modern yeah because she's she's voicing her thoughts she believes like she has to do what she has to do irrespective of what the men think of her mm. So I kind of enjoyed that. You know, it like she said you we didn't have to be coy and I think women are so strong and then again the face off with Nandini the strongest she has to have a certain personality type for that because Nandini is also a very strong personality type. Yeah. 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 So that part of it I I really enjoyed playing that. And Manisha told me just one thing before he was like always keep in mind Jayalalitha amma. You know the way she walks and her confidence. You don't necessarily need to feel it inside. I mean, I'm sure you would even relate to that. We may go through mixed emotions within, but you just got to keep that confidence Mixed-y. going. You know, yeah, like yeah. even when she needs to have a meltdown, there's a scene like that. She can't do it. She has to have a certain confidence because she's a princess. And Manisha would keep instilling that like, in in my head, saying that. be a princess think 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 that you're one you know start acting like it hold your head high always hmm. so I kind of went with that in every frame that we shot it came across <laughs> that that reminds me of how we had the opposite thing for me he's like you can go back to being depressed after cut <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's challenging to always be happy and bubbly and <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I believe you got as shouting because you were looking down yeah. and obviously you as the titular pony and selvan cannot ever look down oh he's pony okay and you never look down i remember who you is <laughs> not, not even when i was uh, getting down this stairs <laughs> i was counting with my feet somehow you know <laughs> yeah, it is that uh, he uh, gives you a certain guideline for the character which we need to follow or which will help us to you know get into the skin of the character so sometimes you know things like this happen and that's when you know exactly what he wants you know that emotion comes out of him you have to bring it out of him <laughs> so he says pony and serpent doesn't look down that's it after that i never look down and uh, it's been a couple of years <laughs> <laughs> since he seen the flaw yeah. <laughs> in fact i really like what ravi said yesterday that manisha does not direct you to act he explains his vision of a character so you know you kind of that's so yeah. instilled because he's a great director automatically it that's why the actors yeah, in this film must don't directors should never tell an actor how to act what we've done in other films <laughs> yeah. tell him what you a, tell him what you want want and yeah that was let the actor do the thing so much sense yeah. he he never teaches you how to act mm-hmm. he makes you understand, understand the character, the character. those are two different he things he gives you yes. all the tools and his understanding of characters also yeah. sorry yeah, no. his understanding of characters also and what the character wants yeah, yeah. 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 character you focus on the objective of the character is the narrator right yeah. but he yeah. and he's playful he's flirtatious he's comical but he's also legal how do you exactly um <laughs> yeah you know, like i always say in every interview when i met men i didn't have a problem i knew how to strike an equation i was also trying to read history to understand how the society was like when they see king they say co which is equal to god so it is not your prime minister or it's not your president you know for for this generation for us to understand who's our leader it, it they put the king in the pedestal of a god yeah. so how we react to a king is very different or how you react to anybody else in our society is very very different i was trying to understand that so it doesn't uh seems similar to how we do anything today i was trying to figure that out uh but when it comes to uh, meeting nandini or when it comes to meeting kundavai and then when i meet pony and selvan uh i think again is my friend yeah. but all these people i've never met before so manisha would give me insights into what is the equation with them he is someone who can be friend anybody so when i meet Kund- uh, nandini i have thousands thoughts running in my mind i should not give away what i know but i should try to get something from her but i'm also smitten 
So all this have to, those attributes have to come together. These insights Manisar would give me. Sir, I don't want him to be innocent here. I want him to look intelligent. You know, that's how he would brief me when, as we go through the scene. But with Kundava, he has to impress her. You know, he he wants to impress every girl. He doesn't even spare a uh, fisherwoman. So <laughs> that's how he is. But when it comes to Kundavi, all this journey, he wants to meet the princess. Somehow he wants to know whether she likes him. You know, he wanted that attribute. So, but when it comes to Ponyan Selvan, he would have a completely different brief. So that way, I think we were exploring the character together. That's what Manisha says. You know, any character, we both are going to explore. It's not just your job or my job. So, so come with, you know, come with uh, his idea. openness of discussing with me. Yeah. We'll explore it together. Yeah. That's how he takes us through. But you know, these characters that all of you are playing, they've been loved for generations. Mm. I mean, everyone who's read these. And they each have a fan club. And they, they have a fan club. Exactly. And they fight around them. So <laughs> is the best. She's well done with her all the time. And they could be, like, the guy who's saying it could be my fan, but he'd say Bandai Tim is the best. You know, it's like. That's that. right. That's right. Very scary. So, so when you were doing this exploration, when you were sort of co creating with Manisa, did you have pressure thinking of like all these people who have a visual in their heads, right? Mm. Of what each character should be like. Yeah, um, yeah you got to get that out of your head. You know, when we first read the books, we all had... I got triggered. <laughs> 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 you can never match that expectation. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So did, never. You, did you think of... The, Unless was you're the actor who played Hagrid. You, like, then you can. It's the most accurate player, casting I've ever seen. Play him like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just go to the text. I'm just a little worried that I'm not too much... I'm not in the novel that much. I'm, I'm, I come very briefly. Huh. So that was their only concern. Oh no, your They're, fans are worried about that. That wasn't the only thing. Because <laughs> it's, it's a multi-star so Right. It, it, it's very important for us there. So that was the only thing they were worried about. So they think, they put, is he there? <laughs> and stuff. Which, I mean, it didn't matter to me because this is, has been a character that I've always loved since a, since a child, since childhood. To the extent that when I wanted a name, my name is Kenny, and I was actually thinking, why not keep this curry girl, you know? But then there was already another actor called Curry Girl, and so I had to let, let that had pass. So that's the impact he's had on me, and I, I was bent on doing this. I said, no, I, I, I'd love to do this. And, and I, I didn't have that thing of, like, will I be able to match? The, because I have Manisa there, and you have your own way of presenting something. And, and like you said, it's again a challenge for me. It should, it should be very different from Veera. Mm. So all that like, kind of triggered a lot of interest in the character. Mm. Did you all feel the pressure? Mm. Yeah, of course we did. I mean, Especially uh, you, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Titular character. Yeah. First of all, Manisa made us uh, understand how important this was. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't take it as a pressure. Take it as a responsibility. And uh, you look at it in a positive way. You know? So I would say this character, however we play it, whoever we play it, this is this bunch of actresses, actors, this set of actors who are playing it now. After 10 years, somebody else will play. That's how I thought. So this is not something, you know, this is it. You know, you, you can make flaws. You can be, you cannot be flawless. Uh, never. So you can make mistakes. Not a problem. It's like getting a car. So the car is the same. The audience will uh, put an extra bumper for it. You know, <laughs> they'll put extra stickering for it. That's their, that's their choice. But the car is the same. Because Ponyin Selvan's character has been etched in the book. So that is not going to change. Mm -hmm. So I will play it like I am the car. You do whatever mm -hmm. on top of it. Your imagination, you put whatever you want on top of it. I don't care. <laughs> but my responsibility is to deliver the car to you. Right. You enjoy it. Right. <laughs> That's how I, I take it. So. But you know, Ravi, you tell this lovely story about how your father, the veteran editor, Mon, was such a passionate fan of the book that he would like rent a cycle to go and get the magazine when, when the book was as a serialized uh, form, it was coming out in the magazine. So oh, what was wow. your first response when Manisa said, you are <clears throat> Ponyan Selvan? <laughs> <laughs> I just blanked out. <laughs> Actually, I checked for somebody else in the room, you know, for a proof. So that, you know, he will not take that guy. <laughs> Did that really happen? You all heard that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give it in writing. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I call Karthi and make him talk to him about whatever? So that, that was going on in my mind. A thousand things were going on in my mind. But uh, on top of it, the happiness it was the peak of it. You know? I was so happy. 
that this film is being made first yeah, of all yeah time. it's been a long yeah, time yeah, yeah. in the works and you know what um, i've been in the industry for 20 years money so didn't call me for even one movie yeah you never worked with yeah him. never yeah. worked with him. so i was thinking but maybe i'm not a good actor maybe he doesn't <laughs> like me what what is you know? then he called me for this film the best one yes thank <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> so that is that is uh, it, it made my whole family happy because you know they were fans of uh, yeah. the book money so and me Wow. <laughs> okay, what was this set like? You guys have shot two films in 150 days, and and I mean, what a galaxy Damn. of stars! Uh, the the characters itself, I I've read there's over 50 characters in yeah. this book. Yep. Uh, what was this set like? Was it like an army operation, or was it like a boot camp? <laughs> so every money sir film is like going to war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so respect to how many characters are there, because he doesn't like to shoot anything simple. Vikram sir was saying a very interesting story from Ram. Please tell us. <laughs> See, <laughs> he uh, he does his blocking after every every shoot. He says, "Come, like, okay, six o'clock, we'll be ready to go to to our rooms, and you say, 'No, come, come, we need to do blocking.'" And we'll go there, and he says, "No, where the costumes are from?" So it's like that. So we we'll block the shot, and very complicated. Then he says, "Go." Next day we'll be traveling somewhere else, and see the same location. No, no, it's a different location. Then he puts you on a boat, and it's that round uh, parasol we call it, and it keeps turning. What what you're saying in Ram? Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, "Okay, get on it." I said, "Okay, I'm mean, I'm going to cross." He said, "No, no, that the scene is on the boat." I said, "Okay," but sir, and he said, "Okay, okay, now stand, stand, sir, I can't sit." And then he made me stand. Then he said, "Okay, spin it, spin, sir." Is it now? Say the dialogue. So I had to like where's the action? So because he likes to make it difficult, he likes to take us out of our comfort zone and yeah. you know have us there. So I asked him, why didn't we do it? That was too easy. Let's do something different. That's how he does every scene. Mm. So it was different. Like what Karthi was saying, it's going for his shoot is like going to war. Mm. But imagine doing a film which is about wars. So you can imagine <laughs> it was like really the greatest thing. War. Yeah, and we have to be there at three o'clock. It'll, it'll keep water. you from overthinking. Yeah, hair to be done. Get yeah, you out of your own get head. you out of your head. Jewelry and blah 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 and. Um, The costumes they used to buy. They used to have a lot of scars before going to war itself, and it was like strenuous. I mean, it's one of the most Physically, difficult films yeah. I've ever done. Yeah. But I'm sure all of us, if he calls us again for another part of this, we would again jump in and say, "Let's do it." We just love to do it. Punish us. Yeah, but we won't give him a choice. So we wake up at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And then we go to get ready, and there are already hundred people waiting for us. Wow. And then we travel for one hour by road and then one hour by sea. And then one day I remember okay. we were crossing on the highway we were figuring out where is the spot because we go for the exotic locations where nobody has been before. That's how Manisha finds places to shoot. And then uh, we're moving in and then we see like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock early morning and there's so much of light and so which town is up at early morning? And then we realize it's our unit. Yeah, it's five hundred, six hundred people like five hundred trucks. <laughs> it's not a city. It's there your people cooking, and there are it's people your getting the costume. It was like a town, you know, in, you know, somewhere nowhere in Thailand. Right, right. <laughs> so many vanity vans. Like wow, so that's a proof, my God. <laughs> and they've been up for hours. That's, so that's the production, you know. Like, yeah. That's how we were working. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun. Like I, I go in the morning. I'm looking at Ravi getting ready there. Like, We bump into each other. We drink coffee. They call for makeup. So we are not coming. Yeah. <laughs> But there's no choice. We have to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, we had each other. You know, we had each other to talk to. Yeah. I think I will never forget it. You know. All of us prisoners to his craft. Withdrawals once the shoot was done. Yeah. Because things got too easy after that. <laughs> <laughs> Every other film is too yeah. easy now. No, but you know the truth is, and and Shobha, that you will have a sense of this is that. At least here in Hindi cinema, it's very hard to do multi-star cast film. Yeah. It's just very hard, especially heroes. There's not many heroes willing to work with each other, and and it's amazing to That's me. That's a shame. That's so that weird. All of you are in this movie. Uh, clearly, he calls and. Since everything's flopping, you probably should. <laughs> everybody here wants to work with everybody else. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Everyone has been a hero or is a hero, Correct. and everyone has been a hero. It's it's like that. Yeah. Like everyone, but we never do it for anybody else for any other story. Yeah. I'm sure he's not had this in any other film too. You know, every character is edged so well. And like you said, even the women, women are so strong. In fact, I think her character is more princely than the two of us. You know, she's the one. I agree. Because she's the administrator. Right. Why I am? I can love her and Ashwari are the. They're, they're in charge, man. Do this long. You know, it's a very. But she's taken the reins, and so that's how this went. Nandini, Nandini is again a very yeah. strong. Yeah. Personality. Yeah. So every character, so everyone, even if it's one scene, 
they're going to be there. And yeah, it, and it has impact. Want, and another yeah. thing is, we also feel we want to be a part of this. Mm. Not that it's been like 70 years since the books come on and everybody's been wanting, wanting to make it. But also because we all love this work and I think beyond it being a hit or whatever, we, we just want to be there in that film and remember. Because when he asked me, this was the second time we're starting this, I said, no, I just want to be a part of this. I, I mean, I don't care about anything. I just want to be there. Yeah. You can always show my grandchildren and say, I was part of Pony and Exactly. Obvious one, what do you call it? Exactly. After that, like, you know, uh, when you say it's kind of, you know, difficult to put together a multi-star in Hindi, uh, where this, because I think characters are measured, the roles are measured on, at a script level itself. And I think when someone's worked hard enough to build a, a fan base, a box office market, uh, where they can guarantee footfalls and, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of hard work. So I think people, actors want to protect that and not just give it away. So if I were to think it from an actor's point of view, I mean, it seems understandable. And I do feel, I mean, I feel like one, because it's Mani Ratnam, sir, where there's a certain adulation. Uh, so there is a, a willingness to walk the extra mile. Mm -hmm. But more than that is the fact that everyone's character is miraculously relevant for, and, and absolutely distinct. So there is no way one could be, it's not like everyone fighting for the same thing. But at the same time, I mean, everyone's fighting all the time uh, for the same things and yet their pursuits are still very different. Uh, their their passions are very different in color, so I think nobody feels compared. Nobody feels jeopardized in yeah, respect to the length of the role. Yeah. So I think that had a large role to pick play. Otherwise, I I would think that it's how bizarre that these three men who are such popular actors are coming together, all women, to do something where once one feels a little less. That would seem weird to me as just a queer, but it makes sense purely Stop because caring. I think the writing and the way it's been distilled into a screenplay sort of grants everybody that dignity. Yeah. That's wonderful. I always believe that uh, we don't choose the characters. Mm. The character chooses us. That's what I believe. So it's, it's, it's it has chosen us, I believe. He's and, convinced. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say about Karthi, about multi-star you're saying, without Karthi, I wouldn't have been able to do this one. He's like a brother to me. He sits you. there. <laughs> Anna, I'm coming to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are my, uh, uh, I'm your fan. Come on, that is different. That, that this is different. This is, this is different because Arti had more action sequences than me. He was tired, and I used to go crib at him. Arti, what the sir is doing? What the, you know? And he bears his own pain, bears my pain, and gets ready for the next shot. He takes me to horse riding also because Arti, horse riding, I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. no, no, without him, really, it is, as you said, no, the topic came a multi star. Without this uh, bonding, yeah. we call it bonding, whatever, the mm -hmm. affection, it wouldn't have happened. You know, with Trisha, with Shobita, we were all playing, we were playing table tennis and all. No? Yeah. Like, you had Trisha, us but... and you were perpetually tripping on us, <laughs> which was your entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And there is that man, that passionate man there, you know, when he is there, that vibe, that energy automatically comes. He used to be an assistant director in the set when he had no scenes. Really? Yeah. yeah. You used yeah. to be an assistant director? Yeah, I like doing that. What do you do? No, you've been mad. No, there's a scene where all the bunch of people have to come into the the, the, the bar, darbar. And uh, I think we were all getting ready and, you know, have to go and waiting for sir to say action and, you know, move and all that. And suddenly, there's a lot of skirmish behind us. All the junior artists are getting, you know, like scared to know what's happening because somebody is pushing from behind. Then we realize Vikram sir is pushing everybody from behind. <laughs> so it was not an AD doing that job. So they didn't know where to look at, you know, to look here or look there. <laughs> so he used to scare people like that. He was there on sets helping us around. And I have to say, you know, uh, like when we were sitting on sets and talking, it's not a multi-star where one is beating the other. It's not that, you know, it's complementing each other. That's right. You know, like a cricket team or a football match where mm -hmm. you, know, you pass the ball and take it and hit the goal. That's how yeah. that's how we saw it, you know. As a team, we have to do it together. And he was saying something, no, I want to be stylish and swag. Do you think you're not stylish and swag? <laughs> come on, come on. You know, I was saying it, you know, like we've seen films, you know, like English films where we've seen heroes being so large. I don't want to compare and 
put him you know in, in on par with anybody he's got his own place and the way he carried himself the way he's riding the horse the way he walks as a prince i think is something yeah. please in please. Swag. In yeah, swag, please. <laughs> i always say he's a man's man you know so. yeah yeah absolutely yesterday you know i i asked um, when i was talking to mari sir and and yaar uh, and ash uh, i said well you know there is this label that it is the tamil Game of Thrones, and they're like, no, no, no. Maybe Game of Thrones is the Tamil pony yeah. itself. <laughs> yeah, it's the English pony itself, yeah, exactly. So, so I am almost at the end, but but before I go, Tush, I have one non-pace one question for you, uh, because it's haunted me, and I know it's been many years since '96. But was there no way for Janu and Ram to be together? <laughs> 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 Did Mani sir do this film? Directed that film? No. <laughs> they never get together. <laughs> That's right. I, I don't know. I mean, there's another film that I've done called. I totally Vinay forgot Tamil she was the one in '96. Yeah, I did I too. I don't end up with the love of my life. So I've started like to think: Is that what works for me these days? <laughs> <laughs> I don't end up with my hero. We we did like you know uh, debate on that. '96. He was very sure they can't end up together because she's already married, right? No, yeah, so you had you. Maybe that wouldn't work. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> It's it sucks, but you, that's why it works. I wonder how that. I hate it. I still hate it. I have a misfortune. Okay, last question is: you know, for you all know the the content, you all know the book, the film. Uh, for many people in this part of the world, they're not familiar with this world, right? What is the one thing that really excites you about PS One that you think people should come to the theater for? Kathi, <laughs> let's start with you. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so, like you said, uh, you're knowing about Harry Potter. You know about Lord of the Rings. But we have so much of treasure, literary treasure in India. How much of us really know about all that? No, it's high time. You know, uh, like we've seen children, you know, uh, um, buying these Iron Mans. Hands or you know playing with something from West. Thanks to Baba Rajmouli sir, our kids started picking up the swords and you know pressuring our own culture. We are still uh, looking up for Western content. We are still thinking that's something large. But we have so much in ourselves, and I uh, think the literary uh, treasure that we have, I think PS One is bringing it out, and Mani sir is bringing it out. And when we have we have a master storyteller bringing out such a well written novel, I think there's fireworks should be expected there. Yeah. What, what do you love most about this story? I I think this story needs to be told, mm -hmm. and uh, we would say you know in Hollywood, uh, James Cameron took Avatar for twelve years. Mani sir is taking it for fifteen years. <laughs> he's been having it with him in his hold. Forty you know, years. Forty years. Forty years. He's been wanting to do it. Fifteen years at least. He's trying to do. Yeah. Correct. Like, Actively yeah. trying. Yeah. Yeah. But forty years, yeah. it's been inside. Yeah. The genie is out now. <laughs> So for that, you know, people should see this hard work of his, us, and uh, their own stories. Their own stories. People's story. Nice. Yeah, but um, I actually feel a lot from what Karthi said because uh, uh, I do feel like um, Indian history uh, or Indian cultural background, even in, in through a little bit of uh, fiction, historical fiction. We have a lot less representation of that in our pop culture, and there's something so beautiful and so uh, inspiring uh, that one can find <clears throat> when 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 we spend time with it. So I feel like this film offers a glimpse into that. I think a little bit of what the three of them said, and so the grandeur. I mean, for so Manisha's vision, I think. People need to come out there and see what we've all done. You know, we present this to them proudly, and now it's left to them. But it's a film that we are all so proud of, and obviously we want people to come and see that. And to see Manisha's grandeur, the magnitude of it, the sets, the color, all of it, and the content mm -hmm. of the film—it's so interesting. Like honestly, I didn't think I could pull off five volumes, but I couldn't put the books down. That's how interesting the story is, the drama. Is in in the film, so I think that for the screenplay. So last word to you. It's, it's like, see, Bahubali is one of my favorite films, and I think that's something altogether different. But 
the richness and the grandiosity is there. But what Manisa has tried to do is his take on that, where uh, Ravi, though he's a, I, I'm a crown prince, but I don't have a crown. And uh, I'm always in leather and wood and, you know, just a wee bit of gold. Uh, you won't believe I just had this uh, uh, amulet or whatever, and, and uh, I have a earring and I have this uh, tiger claws or whatever, because that's our symbol. I don't have anything else. It's just that though I'm a, a crown prince, because I'm in battle and I, I, I don't want the trappings of royalty. While Ravi will be in silk, he'll have very, he'll have, I think, a, a scene or two, he may have a turban. He doesn't have a crown. The crown comes only during the coronation, and thank God he couldn't wear it. How many kilos was that? <laughs> mm. uh, should be at least 12 kilos. Quite a lot. Like, it, it, so, we, we had it that way. Right. Everything will be as real as possible. He's trying to do that. So, which will be very interesting for an audience. I'm so sure after the movie's out, when you talk about that period, you're going to see Raja Raja Chodan or Anadipe Kari or Bandi or whatever. You'll only see them with that. You know, that. Like, you think of Gandhiji, you can only think of Ben Kingsley. Correct. So, we're all very happy that they're going to look at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, that, I'm sure, will, will be my yeah, will be a takeaway for the audience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I just like had a small footnote. I think because we ended up speaking about war, it never occurred to me that this film is about war. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a film about love. Mm -hmm. Hunted, pursued, lost, bled for, and war is incidentally. So I do think this is a film about love, different forms of love, different shapes of yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I love it. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, though I have been told it will be only on the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you We're so much. We're all in the same boat. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't take it personally. None of you have seen it all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I haven't you shown it today. That was lovely. So Thank much. you so much. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> the major thing, uh, there was a lot in that, so it was really good. Good interview. As always. Um, She's always One thing that you take from it is that the amount of respect that people have for Mani Ratna. Yeah, of and, course. And the, like, obviously, one of the first things you notice when people talk about people like uh, like Vishal, sir, or Anirag, sir, or, or like all these people that they respect, it's always their name. And then, sir, it's very different than obviously what we do here. Yeah. Um, we It's more Mr. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're just good friends, you just call them. Like Marty, Marty, the, yeah, Leo calls him Marty. Uh, <laughs> That's only them, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but the amount of respect everybody has, and the amount of everybody's these are all really big stars in their own right. But yeah. <laughs> they're going to do whatever the hell Monty Rottenham says. Exactly, <laughs> he demands that kind of respect, sure, and power, and the amount of. Um, it shows you obviously there's certain things that separate great directors and the fact that he spends just so much homework but also is he has everything ready but he's right. also like this is a collaboration right. with the artist uh, so here's all the information here's all the tools now you go do your thing and not all directors are like that no some even, are very silent even even successful directors they're either silent or they're dictatorial to the point where you know this is not a collaboration this is all about them and you're just a pawn on their chessboard rather than a collaborator in their tapestry. I think I think Quentin's he notoriously like hates improv. I think really, yeah, because I think he's like I fucking wrote the words. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna you're that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's Quentin. He's not yeah. known for being that, a nice that, guy. That doesn't surprise <laughs> me. But I will I will say, and we've said this before. I just it pains me to hear. That there are some people who, and I'm not referring to them as actors, because that to, to me, what I'm about to describe is not an actor's mindset, it's a movie star mindset. I can't fathom reading a script, and your primary concern is, how much screen time am I getting? Yeah. That, is, that is just antithetical to everything I could imagine about why I would want to do it's... A, a character or a film or a show. A lot of stuff that they were talking about, it's very Indian cinema. Uh, the amount of screen time, multi-star stuff that people don't yeah. want to do. Why wouldn't um, you want, like here, you'll see, especially in the fall, like right now, Amsterdam, I promise you everybody's happy to be working with each other. Yeah. You know, Margot Robbie isn't thinking, I hope people aren't looking at Christian Slater, Slater, uh, uh, Bale. Christian Bale is my, it's like, no one's counting, or when you're on screen with De Niro, uh, I don't want to be upstaged. Well, then do a good job and you won't be. Yeah. So I just don't understand. It's obviously very different because it's obviously such a star-driven industry. 
for the longest time, people came to the theater to see. Obviously, that's very much changing now. If you look at just what the, what's happening at the box office, that's obviously. a good thing. So hopefully, it's going to be like, all right, we're just going to put good <laughs> actors in good roles with good writing and taking nothing away from his acting. But doesn't Karan Johar say that in the Bollywood book opening about Big B, hmm. about as wonderful as it was for the angry young man, it, it created the star. Yeah. And created the driven that that's the reason you go see the film versus seeing it for the artistry. Yeah. 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 But another really good interview. Loved, obviously, oh. PS1. Uh, I'll have to definitely watch it again before the second one comes out. I absolutely and, will. And I can't wait for the second one to come. I, I, the, she said the, I was wondering where Ashwari was, but she apparently did an interview with Mani Ratnam. A.R. Ramon. And A.R. Ramon. And Ashwari. Yeah. yeah. So it's, just, it's well, probably Where right is that in, one? It looks like oh, it's right there. Oh, there it is. I want to see that one. <laughs> probably a really good interview. Yeah. I would love to interview... All uh, well, well, one of them one is, our of is already our non-bar. Yeah, the other two, uh, I don't know if they're non-bars or dosts or I don't know. Well, I'd assume Mani is going to be a non-bar. Well, I think there's a mix. There's a, a mix I'd assume there. Ashwari is. I don't know what she is. I don't know if she's Tamil. Hey, babe, Ashwari is South Indian by birth, right? Yeah, I thought okay. so. So, all be our non-bars, all of you. Uh, can't wait for it. Let us know if there's other interviews we should react to down below.